Hey everybody, welcome back to Girl Dad Chronicles and Reviews. So, I wanted to talk about this uh, in this episode about something that truthfully always was something that scared me, uh, terrifies me, still does to this day uh, when, it, when it came to having kids, which is the thought of them choking. Um, obviously the numbers are there, uh, the statistics are there as far as, you know, uh, how many kids choke every day in the country on, you know, everyday items. So, what I'm going to talk about right now, uh, very quickly, is food preparation for, for little ones. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, when they're babies, everything's very regulated. Yeah, there's a certain amount of, of uh, time where you're only going to be giving them formula and then water and then solids. This is not about that that's for uh, your your baby's doctor specialist for you guys to cover all that I'm talking about once your kids get older and they're gonna be eating you know just solid foods on the regular once they're toddlers and young kids um, you just really have to be mindful of the fact of how little their throats are compared to ours so um, what might what we might be able to, to barely squeeze you know through our esophagus uh, won't definitely won't cut it when it comes to a little one so you uh, as being as the dad uh, there's a good chance that you're going to be involved in the in the food prepping food serving um, part of you know uh, the home life which is as is my case uh, I do it also because I enjoy doing it I love doing it uh, I love seeing the the, the the smile on my girls' faces when they, especially when they try something new, but just overall, just seeing them eat uh, brings me a lot of joy. Um, so to go back to what I was talking about, so whenever I'm doing fruit, I'm gonna zoom down a little bit. We're gonna use this cucumber for example today. What I like to do is I like to really get those slices really nice and thin, because even with cucumber, see if you kind of chop it. Up. Big chunks. You see your kids running around eating, chewing on these. You know, you know anything can happen in a matter of seconds. So, anytime you're dealing with, like I said, any 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 solids, you want to do your best when you're serving it to your kids to really just try it. Even when it comes to meat, chicken. I mean, I, I do it with everything. Uh, I I try to just thin it down because just really in in my head. What I want to happen is I want that food to break down inside their mouth, inside their throat, as quickly as possible. Uh, I don't want even the slightest uh, chance of, of anything happening because uh, I decided to try to rush feeding them and didn't you know, cut the food the way I know I, I do it. So um, that's it. Like I said, this was going to be a short video. This is really just, again, uh, for a new newbie dad, dads to be, uh, dads already, you know, that's already doing their due diligence. Uh, uh, something, like I said, I like to do is when it comes to food prepping, I, I like to go above and beyond when it comes to the thinness of what I'm serving my daughters. Uh, if you're serving them anything that might have bones, scales, uh, that's not just fish. Uh, you know, chicken, especially fried chicken, tends to have uh, bits of bone that will kind of break off really easily. So when it comes to chicken, truthfully, um, again, you just kind of have to take it case by case. Uh, and, you know, if it means you just kind of have to cut it up for them, even if they're a little older, just, you know, just do that. And, you know, they might put up a fight, but at the end of the day, you know, if you explain it to them, uh, that's a matter of safety. It's not a matter of you trying to baby them or that they're not old enough. It's just, you know, something could go wrong and it's hard to tell when it's inside of something like bones so that's it uh, i hope this video was of some useful information hit like and subscribe see you guys soon